Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at last weekend's winner, driver of the number 23, McDonald's Toyota. Wait a minute, this is last year's winner. Anyway guys, you get what the point is. We are taking a look at Bubba Wallace's first career win from the rain short and Talladega race, which means... It doesn't count. It doesn't count as a win. So he hasn't won in the Cup Series, so we can all, uh, you know, all the haters can jump onto that. He's never won in the Cup Series. Oh, wait, then he won at Kansas. Too bad. Um, actually, I got to see him win, so it's kind of cool. I, I thought he drove a great race. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at this car here. So you can see uh, we do have the red uh, hood on here with the McDonald's arches. This is actually my favorite version of this paint scheme. The other one had yellow lines going, like, all the way across the top. And then through the middle here, there was, like, a red stripe. Personally, I really like this paint scheme. I think the white 23 or the white area around the 23 makes it look really clean. Um, I do think the little fries coming out the top here on the roof look good. Um, but I think the biggest thing was cleaning up all the clutter around the number, making the number kind of plain and not having a whole bunch of busyness going on behind it. it I think it looks a lot better. Um, you can see we got McDonald's, DoorDash, Dr. Pepper. We got Wallace, the short spoiler. Um, Wallace on the front window as well. As you can see here, uh, there are some small marks on the hood uh, from the hood pins, so a couple little marks there. Uh, it is a raced version, so you can see there's a couple marks here on the right side as well. Uh, you can see a little bit of rubber buildup and just a couple little marks on there. So, But otherwise, it did keep it pretty clean. You can see the rivets along the skirt. That's also part of the raced, raced detail. And like I said, the front is pretty clean. There's a couple of little spots where you might see something, but overall, it was pretty clean. It was a rain-out race, which means that you know, water getting on the car kind of cleans it off already. And then on top of that, um, you know, you didn't, they didn't have to beat and bang to get to the finish. The caution came out and, and he was in the lead. So, um, yeah, unfortunately it does mean we lack in like the race detail. We don't have donut marks and stuff like that. Burnout marks, that kind of stuff. We do get a little bit of stuff here, a little bit of kind of fuel spillage, but yeah, it definitely is lacking in the race detail, but it is still a cool car. As I said, the first time 2311 goes to victory lane, uh, obviously it's his first career win. Um, McDonald's coming back to victory lane for the first time in ugh, who knows how long it had been since McDonald's had been back to victory lane. So there's definitely plenty of cool things with the car. Um, but yeah, the 164s are available on the website and the 124s are coming in this week. So, uh, anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on the 164, uh, and stay tuned for the 124. It will be coming soon. Um, but other than that, guys, this has been Race Grace. Thank you all for watching and we will see you in the next Diecast Review.